there is an old uh, saying that anything that is worth doing is worth doing well. Whether it is speaking, building a house, or even cooking. My master used to emphasize that there is no distinction between different aspects of work. To think that cooking is less important than mounting a car or a chassis or being part of an aeroplane establishment. It's a false idea to think that this work is more important than that. Because all work is work and work well done is what matters. A science education is no more important than an art education. Legal aspects of studies are no more important than humanities. Life, if it is to be a well-rounded life, must be complete in all aspects. A human being must be a human being a well-rounded human being, a balanced human being, with capacities which are inherent in that round ball, you know, which is a sphere, which can be put out when necessary in any direction. Spiritual ability, the ultimate ability, is the ability to manifest power in any direction that you want or which the situation necessitates and withdraw it when the work is over. In Sahaj Mahan, I am the object of the experiment. I am the experimenter and I will be the result of my own experiment on myself. This is the only science where the experiment, the experimenter and the object of the experiment and result is all the same. And the only facilitator is a guru who says, if you are willing to sit comfortably, close your eyes, Imagine there is divine light in the heart and meditate without allowing the mind to go hither and thither. This life as a human being is the highest life that we can achieve. And by God's grace, we are here as human beings. How to evolve out of this into the ultimate condition? That is what this life is for. We have come for a purpose. We have chosen our environment. We have chosen our parents, the language, where we will be born, history, geography, society, everything is predetermined by the soul before I was in this world. Why am I not successful? Because once I'm here, I forget my purpose. We forget all these things and we have to be re-initiated. Even Krishna had a guru because that guru must open my eyes to my past from which I have to evolve into the future through the present. Whatever else the guru may be, you know, this is his primary and only function. To remind me, my dear boy, you have come to this earth, to this human birth for this purpose. Don't forget it. Don't swerve from the path. 